These games are no secret. We play them too. <laughs> Call of Duty has copied Minecraft. Enemy creeper inbound. We should probably stop that. Now you're hearing the voice of someone at the peak of human evolution. Not only that, I do have a couple, just a few, Minecraft Hunger Game wins under my belt, but COD Battle Royale Blackout could definitely change Call of Duty forever, just so you could change your life and your sub box forever, hitting the subscribe button. Smooth, man. We're, we're gonna keep finding smooth ways to place that in here. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those Battle Royale is literal Jesus people. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. But I think we can all admit that Blackout looks awesome. You can play as the Zombies characters on quad bikes. You know, my man Rick Toffin out here with a long ass nose, you could probably spear people off of their quad bikes using Rick Toffin. That is... That, wow. Wow. Now, one way that Blackout will revolutionise and change COD forever is that big ass map. Yo, that map's kind of thick. And also, one of the confirmed locations within the map is Turbine. For Black T Turbine from Black Ops 2. COD will never be the same. But in all honesty, <laughs> in all honesty, for big ass map, it's pushing COD to the limit. And surely they had to change some stuff in that engine, right? The outdated COD engine to be able to handle this big ass pizza like map. So, yes, the addition of this mode has pushed COD to the limit. And it's a huge ass change, right? People love to say that COD doesn't change. It changes and people hate it. So that's a nice meme. But this change cannot be ignored. I mean, it can. And people who want to complain are going to ignore this big change. But uh, let's, let's just not think about that. Blackout has something for anyone and everyone. When I saw the multiplayer trailer, I cried like a little... I mean, I, I wrestled a bear like a real man does. Uh, so yeah, Black Ops, the, the multiplayer is on the futuristic side, maybe more so on the Black Ops 2 side rather than the Black Ops 3 side, but it's still futuristic, which we weren't expecting. Not necessarily a bad thing, but we weren't expecting that. Zombies has the Titanic, Ancient Rome, Blood of the Dead, right? We're zipping all over the place. So there's all these different settings going on that we didn't really expect. You know, we thought Black Ops 4 was going to be a modern game, but then you have Blackout, which has something from all the the past Treyarch games, right? Worlds at War, maps and weapons, gadgets, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, probably Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4. So if you want Vietnam and a Cold War stuff, it's gonna be there in Black Ops, right? For Galil, for Famous, the, the jungle ass map, you know? Uh, World at War stuff, it's all gonna be there. World War 2, modern, Black Ops 2 era stuff, it's gonna be in that mode. So once again, there's something for anyone and everyone. You know, there was that theory that we, we over here heavily believed in before Black Ops 4 came out, thinking that it was going to be either a time travel COD or a multi-era COD, and it's it's not, well, the multiplayer is not, it's a futuristic one, but guess what, Black Ops mode is kind of that in a way. Man, time travel, man. not really time travel, but uh, time travel, it's not, it's not time travel. Vehicle combat, my man. Now, vehicles might have been in like COD 1, <laughs> so <laughs> vehicles might not be anything new. They're, they're more like a returning thing, but to once again have stuff like that, like we do have plane plane combat in one of the war missions in World War Two, but to have helicopters, vans, trucks, quad bikes and stuff, man's gonna do a wheelie and a backflip off of a cliff, you get me? To have that in COD, in a multiplayer type situation again, it's kind of something that we didn't know that we would want. But it sounds cool, like, you know, m imagine running over a squad in a motorbike with your truck. YouTube's gonna take- YouTube's gonna hit me with a bat for saying that, but it was worth it, because vehicles in Call of Duty in Battle Royale, huge, huge steps forward. And then I think the last point we'll, we'll ramble on about here as to why this is changing Call of Duty forever. You know, normally in Call of Duty you have campaign multiplayer zombies. Zombies gets updates every map pack to add a new map, that's about it. Multiplayer gets its bug fixes, its DLC weapons, its map packs, and now its events. And campaign, of course, doesn't get any updates. Now, it looks like multiplayer and zombies themselves are going to be getting more updates and more content. But now, you add blackout to the situation, and there's a third mode, which is now going to be getting more updates and more content. I think sometimes COD has these... D I don't think, I know, but I'm not going to forget what I know, that COD has these big ass dead periods where nothing's going on, there's no new content, but 
that looks like it's going to change. There's always going to be something, something new, something to do, something to talk about, something new to try out. Even if it's locking my my, my main man Hudson behind a supply drop, I'm I'm gonna, gonna gonna get my man. I can't even speak because I'm I don't even know what's happening. I think that's that, lads. That is that. I think we should end off this entertaining spectacle right there. I have been the peak of human evolution. You have been my brethren. Stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one.